David and Susanna concocting this extraordinary crescendo in The Undoing came and hit us like a thunderbolt because while it was being written, we didn't know how it was going to end. Because of everybody rooting for Jonathan, it needed to end in big time insanity. The New York State Special Victims Unit has issued an Amber Alert for 12-year-old Henry Fraser. Dr. Jonathan Fraser should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Jonathan can't really tolerate the fact that he's been caught and above all that the people who adored him most are going to despise him forever. And the son bit is particularly hard for him because if his boy doesn't love and admire him, no one does. You murdered a person, Dad. Not the real me. Not the dad you know. Henry's in shock, realizing that his dad was the murderer after all. And when he speeds up down the road and a truck almost hits them, there's definitely a break in their bond because of the sheer terror that he's put him through. Dad, it's a red light. Dad, dad. He's the power my son. The idea of running to save your child, I could have done that, and I did do it over and over and over again. Ma'am, you can't go through! You can't go through! Go! At the end, Henry discovered something about how much the truth matters, and when they're on the bridge, he goes to his mum, and he doesn't really look back. Jonathan's cornered and his family's flying away in a helicopter. But I think the main question is, was it all a front? Did Jonathan really love them? Or did he just love them loving him? And it's chilling. I love the end shots because there's a woman who's now got the next stage of her life. And what does that mean? There's a freedom in that. Grace captured her own demon. She has managed to put justice in some sort of order. It's not all tied up in a neat bow, which I find very truthful, but I've moved on, or have I?